Hey guys, this video talks about how to pull the bottom cover off an Asus X501A or similar model. I believe the other ones are pretty much the same if it's like an X301A, you know, 401A. This is the 501A with a 15.6 inch screen. So it's not too bad, but a little tricky. Um, first of all, you're going to want to pull your battery out. Uh, and probably want to hit the power button a couple times just to drain any residual power out of the thing. Next, you're going to want to remove... Um, how many screws is this? Let me just do a recount here. We have... 11 screws. So, 9 of, the, or nine of those 11 are small, uh, are smaller than the other 2. Now, the 2 large ones are right here on the outer edges near where the hinges are. Um, you want to remove all of the screws. Make sure they're all out and count out 11 screws. Just remember the two big ones go here when you put it back together. So I'll put these out of the way. To Once you have the screws removed, it's not over yet. You still need to find a, a gift card of some type or some card you don't care about, you know, guitar pick, something where you can get underneath the plastic without damaging the, the plastic edge, which is critical. So first step, I find it easiest to remove this corner right here and just kind of grab it enough where you get this edge out. And then you can want to apply pressure, slight and slight pressure. Uh, you don't want to bend. Yeah, the, the keyboard will bend if you apply too much pressure. Then you'll end up with potentially a damaged keyboard. Who knows what? It's very fragile. So you want to kind of apply pressure to this thing. You can put a screwdriver in there to, to hold it. And you're going to kind of want to go all the way around. And kind of in the middle. Make sure this is this area is pulled up. We'll rotate it, and probably want to get these clips. Just peel them up very carefully. And that will usually break free this side. You can actually start with this side too. It doesn't really matter. Whatever side is easiest. Um, you just kind of want to want to pull up there and go along. Once you have those out, it will be loose. Now, don't lift it very much because what we need to do then is rotate the laptop so you're looking at it kind of at an angle here and slowly lift up the lid. Now, what you'll see are two connectors, one for the keyboard, which is the bigger one, and the small white one for the touchpad. Now, there's two little plastic pieces here, I'll show you in a moment. You just lift those up and the, the cable should come right out. If not, just give them a little nudge and then pull this out of the way. So I'll zoom in here. Well, don't have a zoom feature really, but I will bring this closer to the camera. So see if we can focus. Um, as far as these connectors go, that's the closed position. That's the open position. So closed, open. You want to have it open until the cable is pushed in all the way. Now you can tell it's pushed in all the way by looking at the cable. And see that? See that white line? That needs to be covered when you push down the white plastic lock. And on this one, you have a black line. That needs to be covered, pushed straight in while you push that down. So, kind of like this. I find it easiest to start with the, the white one because it's smaller, but it's up to you. So, it's a little tricky because sometimes the cable wants to go underneath the connector. So, once the touchpad's lined up, line up the keyboard, and those are both pushed in. I don't know how well we'll be able to see this, but as you can see, the, the lines are covered. So, 
well, almost covered. They're they're lined up. It's kind of used, those, those lines are printed, they're used for a guide. So yeah, once you get this all put back together, push it down. Um, don't put the screws in yet, but push these clips down at least. Uh, plug it in, uh, just use the regular power cord. Turn it on, make sure your, your touchpad and your keyboard works. If it doesn't work, you wanna check those connections again. Um, but feel free to check out my other videos. I'm going to show you how to pull the hard drive out. And also I'm going to try to install an 8 gigabyte RAM module in here. Um, <clears throat> if it doesn't work, I probably won't post a video. But if it does work, I will. So feel free to check out my channel for those other videos.